All right, everyone, it is me, Johnson Chan, and uh, I finally got a decent night's sleep last night, so I think I finally figured out what it was. Oh, it was like seven hours, so, no, actually more like around seven and a half hours. I still had to wake up a lot in the middle of the night to go to the bathroom and stuff, even though I was slowing down my water intake, you know, as I've been doing recently. Uh, well, at least before going to bed, like three, four hours. <clears throat> But I still, act, but surprised I had no trouble going back to bed. So it was actually kind of nice. It was pretty nice. Um, yeah. So it turns out because I've lost so much weight, I did the math yesterday after you know I did some more programming. Uh, oh, actually, I gotta turn on Unity Hub here. Uh, what should I call it? Yeah. It turns out that um, I'm burning about seventeen fifty calories a day based on my current activity. So me eating, eating 1,800 calories means I actually don't lose weight, which would explain why I've been having so much trouble lately with shedding off the pounds. And technically, that's overeating relative to my body. And when you overeat, you can't sleep as well. So that's actually what's happening. So now, so I did an experiment. Like, why don't I just take in 1,500 calories? I decided to think, do a little forward thinking and go, okay. How much, how low can I go? Because I'm trying to target 130, 140. So it turns out 140 pounds will be like the magic number. So, yeah. So if I just eat 1,500 calories a day, I'll slim down to 140 eventually. And I won't have problems with sleeping anymore. Assuming that's actually what was causing my sleeping problems. Because I even took like a 15-minute nap and a, like a 6-minute nap right after, you know, because I had the alarm clock trying to wake me up to prevent me from, you know, dozing off too much. Yeah, I had no problems. So yeah, I think uh, so. I think I figured out the uh, magic formula here. So uh, so that, so that's very good. So that's very good. So I'm fi finally gonna get my sleeping patterns back up to normal. I think. Yeah, but that's crazy, right? My weight loss was so effective that like it was actually too effective. <laughs> that's why I was having that problem, right? And then starting tomorrow, because today's my physical off day, I'm gonna actually start adding a little bit more weights to my thing. Because it turns out doing light weights or heavy weights does not matter. What matters is you reach the point of failure where you just can't lift shit anymore. So I'm going to add heavier weights because I just want to get my stupid workout done with. So, um, you know, the heavier it is, the faster I get uh, exhausted, you know. So, yeah. So anyway, I didn't do too much research, but uh, let's just see what's happening. Uh, wow, Google's been pretty slow to release da uh, data for this week. Okay. All right, so dominance is at 64.7%, 24 hour volume is 54.2 billion. Bitcoin, the usual, 91.52, Litecoin, 41.62, and of course, Doggy Coin taking a nap, 290 million. Uh, yeah, 290 million. It's basically the same as yesterday. I, mean, I also mentioned yesterday, yeah, everything's just going to be flat. That's just basically what's going to happen. It's all going to be flat. Uh, the Dow is up. Uh, stock features dip as core ADP data. Okay, so they probably have to update the headline. The economy has entered a new phase with the same blah blah blah. Zoom says added over 100 features as part of a 90 day plan. All these social, new social media things, it's just like overwhelming, man. Uh, Scooter Braun on the health of the music industry. Streaming is, oh yeah, he, uh, for some reason, them, Big Machine Records and Taylor Swift are like having a fight. Uh, he's also technically part of the unnameable tried and unnameable country that cannot be criticized, so that's basically why. Uh, so I figured out, uh, 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 Fed Paul, uh, Dow Books, uh, okay, so there's actually nothing on the front page, even though markets are going up. Oh, okay, here we go. So they have a, they have a, con uh, uh, a conflicting headline. Let's see. Wall Street Joe says Pfizer vaccine boy. Boo. How do you, how do you actually pronounce? I never forget how you pronounce this word. Buoy. Oh. Buoy. Oh, buoy. 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 Like B O O E Y. Buoy. Oh. So the U is silent. <laughs> that makes a lot of sense. So Pfizer vaccine bu uh, buoys sentiment. Well, that's good. Stock features edged higher. They should say higher, not lower. Uh, okay, this thing is retarded. Uh, record breaks here. Uh, stocks to close out. Um, so apparently the markets were up yesterday. Okay. 
Alright, this is starting to annoy me. Can they update the fucking thing here? Oh my god. Uh, Alright, this is one of the rare cases. I think it's called Fox Business, right? Yeah, dot com. Okay, let's take a look here. Uh, the pro democracy press as Hulk call it. Okay, oh, God. Fox is still pushing his anti China shit. But yes, this is because it's a CIA operation designed to destabilize China. We're going to outlets to reveal details of operations. This is actually pretty good, actually. Uh, what should I call it? Uh, because, yeah, we don't like the fake news terrorists here either, so we want to know how they operate. I mean, we kind of already know. So it's kind of weird, like this weird circle jerk. The establishment Republican Party has, like, a re is really pissed off at China, right, because the tribe that owns the Republican Party is just mad at China for some reason. China owns the Democrat Party, or at least is very friendly with them. And China itself has their own little belligerent agenda, and then they're also siding, they're, they also have, like, trade deals-ish, with the unnameable tribe and the unnameable country in the Middle East. So it's like some weird fucking, like, everyone's a fucking stupid fucking piece of shit asshole triangle. You know, it makes me nervous because, like, you know, you know, cause obviously war risk. Oh, well, anyway, uh, all right. Uh, takes a million dollar hit as coronavirus wrecks their sales. I, I, like, I'm surprised Macy's hasn't gone out of business yet. PPP application deadline change for small businesses. Walmart hires 265,000 veterans, promotes thousands more to high-paying roles. Or at least Walmart's actually doing fucking something for a good for a change. Lawmakers consider a new stimulus with a different focus. Ah, yes, because, you know, obviously the billionaires didn't get enough money the first time around. Uh, alright, so Fox Business was pretty shitty. Um... Oh, whoops, wrong, wrong page. I'm going to hit this one more time because I want to read more about the vaccine. What? They still have not fucking updated this shit. Like, the fucking F-words at fucking retarded Yahoo, they really are showing their bias today. Alright, uh... Okay, here we go. Now they finally updated the fucking thing. Alright, here we go. Uh... They still haven't, uh, okay, record breaking. Okay, Nevertheless, stocks have closed out, uh, historic rally. Uh, however, I say this, where they surges, they put the fit of capital, we see a huge boom. Uh, all right, kid, they're in the middle of updating the fucking article, so we're just gonna have to come back to this. Hopefully, they'll update it. All right, JFC coins at seven to eight. Uh, Evan, yeah, you see him all the same old. 404, 346 to 370. That's actually a pretty big sell order. It's actually really big given the size of the current market supply. 2 by 2, 67 to 69 is a massive buy order here. So, all right, that works. Rix, 198 to 210. So it's going down as expected. Um, yeah, pretty much. I mean, even, even if Mitch can get that big pool to... Uh, uh, include Rick's. Uh, I'm not sure what's going to really do anything because we still technically don't have our actual use case, you know. So, all right, here we go. Uh, got a bit of thing here. All right, let's see. Bitcoin set for a okay, this guy's just retarded. Uh, I mean, obviously, we wish it was 288,000. Our crypto market requires Bitcoin stuck near, yeah, it's doing the exact same thing it did four years ago, all right, which means it's not going to go up until fucking after the election. So hopefully Trump just gets reelected because that would just be the most stable option. Uh, let's speak of idiot Trump. Uh, let's refresh this one more time. All right, very good, very good. Trump is uh, clawing his way back up, you know, sixty to forty. And yes, he has been improving on his timeline. Uh, let's see. Uh, New York based assassin. Okay, Bitcoin. Uh, Bitcoin activity rising despite strict law proposals. So Russia is behind the curve. It's just Bitcoin wallet. Okay. There's all much investing in. Okay, man. Uh, major Tesla investor brands Bitcoin a contender for the first global digital currency. Yeah, I really want to start buying Tesla. How much is Tesla right now? Yeah, it's almost, it's basically $1,100. Oh, God. By, you know, by the time I become a multi-millionaire, fucking Tesla is going to be like, you know, five to $10,000 a share. 
Oh, well. All right, so that's good. Uh, so Trump's actually closing the gap, so that's fine. Uh, Ripple's success could leave it. Okay. Uh, boring. Chase says Tickle should have blamed after credit report widely incorrect. Uh, well, luckily I just have a credit card account with them, so no, no big deal. Binance preparing to buy majority stake in crypto startup swipe. This is a really nice thumbnail. The problem is, we're going to be probably uh, the thing we'll be talking about Trump today, so. Uh, here we go. Uh, Bitcoin signal that flat. Okay. Analysts are called. Okay. And okay. So this basically means there's actually no news today. All right. Cool. But I have a very short thing. Uh, so, so I was watching this before. I actually want to look, and listen to it. It is called a peaceful protest. I just think lawlessness of pulling down statues. Let's do it the way that it's supposed to be done. It is. Uh, solid. Air. Trump's re-election chances are now up 2% out of 22% gap against Joe Biden unpredicted. Uh, yeah, I guess we'll find because because as much as I'm getting like a bunch of views, I'm not like part of the growth has already capped out for me. It's extremely unhealthy in a society governed by the rule of law to allow the mob to prevail. As a nation, we are founded on principles. We are a constitutional republic. We've got to stop the mob. Why would you take an uh, statue down? Why would you be going after our country? We have great parts of our history. We have very dark and ugly parts of our history. I don't think we can just wipe that away and ignore that all those. I really hope the music's not copyrighted. Things occurred, and I think it is important to have good reminders around our nation of dark seasons in our past so that we will remember what we've come from. Oh, that's actually really good. That's a really good line. Tearing down history for the sake of anarchy is not how we make progress in this country. Your system of government, is, as is the case here in the United States, it's informed by our past. There are some historical figures that, while not perfect, uh, we can learn from. We don't want to go changing everything all at once. Americans know that an imperfect nation built by imperfect heroes is still the most perfect union the world has ever seen. And when the dust settles, Never, never, the mobs or bullies <laughs> we are. All right, this was actually a, uh, a solid uh, thing. Um, this was actually very solid. The problem is, why is this shit so low? Because obviously a lot of whites are still pretty mad that Trump didn't do anything, and at the GOP. So, it, it's like really irritating, but... Fredo, so that's Chris Cuomo, Seattle police, gun right activists, upset five-term GOP congressman in... Co uh, oh, wow. Actually, I think Ryan Gadurski might have something to say. Uh, uh, Lauren Bobert, okay, good. Uh, Lauren Boebert in the state's general election, uh, one of her campaigns, after she accused Scott of not being so very pro Trump, even though the president had endorsed him. So this is actually pretty good. <clears throat> yeah, so she's probably true America first, I think. Surprisingly, I don't see, uh, I don't see, I don't see Ryan uh, Gudersky talking about him. All right. Well, very good. So basically, America first really is inevitable. So as long as Trump can win re-election and the GOP keeps doing what they're doing, we should be fine. See how police are retake Capitol Hill that was taken captive by these shit-lib riots. Okay, uh, we'll do that. And, uh, reclaim free and hard since they moved in this morning. Yeah. Actually, I do want to read this. I'm going to read this offline, though. Uh... Yeah, 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 yeah. I want to just read this offline. All right, so they finally uh, established the law and order. So this is good. All right, so things should be going back to normal, and then we'll know for sure that if things are solid when, once we start seeing more uh, lockdown hoaxes and shit. They're not, they're, they're not after me, they're after you. I'm just in the way. All right. Yeah, very good, very good.
a lone warrior. For a warrior, charge of mail in fraud. Uh, okay, gonna get rid of it. I'm sure that'll be good for the character. Okay. Yeah. See the see the way this sounds just sounds so retarded. I'll oh, get rid of. <laughs> yeah. Uh, my second prize is a full fire event in X. Please not play all the day. Go now under arrest. Very good. Yes. Uh, record growth. Okay. Russia is okay. Blah blah. blah. Okay. Right. Very good. Very good. All right. So this is not a mistake. All right. So we know for a fact that two percent. Oh. Oh, very good. It did not save my login info. So now we know for a fact that, um, whatchamacallit, uh, this is real. Uh, this is actually very real. All right, well, let's see. Uh, we don't actually have any news, so let's just see if, uh, let's see. All right, did they update this? Finally, they updated the fucking thing. All right, so the good news is they're also starting to ban a lot of pro-Trump stuff, Reddit. You know, like, it's starting to get to the... I even got, like, an email from the uh, Republican Club right here in Manhattan uh, where they're actually talking about tech censorship for the first time. I was in a very major way. Like, it was actually their focus. And they even invited the uh, Bokari Alumi guy from Breitbart to talk about it. And he said he actually has inside sources within the big tech companies, too, so... Uh, so GOP has just finally figured out, hey, we gotta fucking do something about this shit. I'm still obviously suspicious, but we'll see. We'll see. Uh, and who knows? They're, they're gonna get kind of mad once we actually do have free speech back again, that we can actually start naming the tribe and the uh, pieces of shit that really are controlling this country. Right? And then those same pieces of shit are going to redirect all their anger and ire towards China. That's probably their, uh, that, because, like, redirect them up. That's what they're gonna do. Um... So it'll be interesting to see how this will work. So that means I gotta get famous again. Ugh, it's so irritating. Uh, but with that being said, I'll probably actually make it part of my story then, simply because even though I don't really want to, right? I don't even write that in too. I really don't want to deal with my ancestral homeland of China, right? But you know, the uh, stupid asshole empire just has like that's in control of this country. Just has just wants to be a huge asshole about it. Stocks rose today, uh, blah, 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 okay. News that Pfizer's coronavirus vaccine can show progress in a trial phase, but put investors in a buyer mood. Uh, Pfizer, okay, 5% of the Dow. Uh, showed the drug was safe for use and facility production antibodies against, oh, uh, okay. So it actually enhances anti uh, antibody protection. Expectations are hot, right? High that a safe and effective vaccine will be found, even though it's unlikely one will be available for 2021. Well, this is actually going to be fake news. So, uh, so, yeah, yeah, because you know how many deaths do they say? How many infections? Blah blah. blah. All right. Also, I think people are now starting to figure out. Hey, we're, it's not a surge in cases. It's just we're testing more people, so we're finding out who was infected. And here in New York City, the antibody test. I don't have. I didn't get the test, but. Like around twenty percent of people, up to or thirty percent people already had coronavirus uh, infections, that because they had the antibodies against it or for it. I don't know how, to, uh, whatever. But basically, they got infected with coronavirus, and, right, and we know that because we tested like crazy. All right, Cuomo was really good about the testing. So Trump basically did exactly what Chris, not Chris Cuomo, Andrew Cuomo, the, the governor of New York, our my governor, um, and Trump did it on the national scale. So. You know, yeah, and because you know Trump and Andrew are obviously going back and forth, and they all and they acknowledge, yeah, we're both New Yorkers. We just bluntly say what we really want to say. Yeah, they're both they're they're saying and doing the exact same thing. It's really hard to hit the rise in infections angle, but they still might still push it just to try to like you know get rid of the lockdown. Record breaking surges in OE are start. So this is a cycle from early. Now less stocks on Tuesday close up breathtaking growth. Stark rally chaos right in light of swift future of fiscal monetary policy stimulus to bolster the thing. All right, so we, we are getting a nurse stimulus. Excuse me. On top points are crucial reads on blah, 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 blah. All right, so things are going to be... All right, so things are going to be expected to improve in June. Uh, those figures come ahead of the pivotal. Okay. Uh, however, I've had more time series in infections, which are wobbling in Sundown State, prompting more states to roll back. Uh, okay. Tuesday, still the world's largest economy reported to worst ever new cases, 47. Okay, so there's they are still trying to push this bullshit. Okay. 
We see a huge record, uh, driven by a lot of positivity, yet the virus count is rising. Uh, okay. Yeah. Uh, okay, and here's their thing. All right, so. All right, we're going to make this the thumbnail, I think, even though I really like this one. But we didn't really talk about Bitcoin at all because literally nothing happened. So if you like what you saw, read or heard, uh, hit the like button, the follow button, or subscribe button from where you're watching this from, or on my YouTubes at youtube.com forward slash JMC Radio. Make sure you smash that subscribe button on the right-hand side of this page so that we can continue uh, growing this channel. All right, so pretty short video because, again, no news is good news. Uh, however, I'm glad that Trump's finally battling it back. You know, God is reinvigorated the right for the most part. So, very good. Very good. Uh, so, anyway, uh, done for the day. I will see you all in tomorrow's video. Uh, let's, hope, uh, let's hope Trump and the GOP continue doing what they're doing. Uh, because, you know, Joe Biden gets in the office. Yeah, there's going to probably be a pretty good shot that we're not going to be making any money. So, you know. Yeah, but all right. Well, uh, Trump's uh, Trump is finally reversing this shit. So that's all. Like, if this turns out to be even, then Trump's one hundred percent going to win. All right, because again, you have to account for the hidden Trump voter. Right now, the hidden Trump voter needs to be now ten percent to tie with Joe Biden. That's still too much. That's way too. That's way too fucking much. All right, but if the hidden Trump voter, but if it's fifty fifty, right. Then obviously you only need like a couple percent, and it's going to be way higher than that. So Trump will definitely win, despite despite all the censorship. So, but uh, we'll see. We'll, we'll we'll continue to see if Trump slides back. Then yeah. Anyway, see you all tomorrow. Thanks for watching, and always remember, Johnson Chan, JMC Coin, 20, uh, 24, 404 Coin. Uh, where the hell is? Yeah, here we go. Here's the thing. Oh, wait, no, 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 I hit the wrong button. I want to hit stop recording, not exit.